Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. So today's reading is for twin souls, divine soulmates. We're just doing a general check-in to see what is going on in the collective. It is general as always, so that means it's not going to be everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And I do also offer cord cutting services for those of you who might not know. Um, and those can really help to heal past wounds, past traumas, which can help to change patterns that may be affecting you in a negative way. All right, so if you'd like more information on those, you can email me with any questions or you can check out my community page to find out more information because I have made a couple of posts on there about that. All right, that's it. That's all I have to say before we get into the reading. We will be looking at the masculine's energy, the feminine's energy, and what is coming up. So starting with the masculine's, we're just gonna get a few oracle cards to get started. So let's see what is going on with the masculine's. What do we need to know right now? All right, and we have the sun, and we also have the thinking woman. Okay, so this is saying that the masculines are actually tapping more and more into their intuition, thinking more from the heart rather than only from the mind. And what it is that they are thinking about more specifically is their happiness. Their happiness, what is it that would fulfill them? What is it that's going to make them happy? Especially in terms of of their feminine, right? What feminine um, partner they are with or if at all. All right, it really depends. Um, let me just get a few more. This is actually pretty positive because it's also talking about optimism, especially in terms of what it is that they are feeling with their heart. We have hunger as well. Okay, so... <laughs> There's this, this is a lot of craving here, a lot of craving for happiness, craving for their divine counterpart. And this is something that they're beginning to realize, you know, sometimes there is no rationalizing love. You cannot rationalize love. Love is love. Let me just get a few more. One fell on the ground. Give me one second to grab it. All right, and it's family. So we have family, third party, and barrier. Okay, this is interesting because I do um, like third party, karmic partner types of readings every other week. For some reason, something similar is showing up here, obviously. So it feels like, you know, they have this hunger, this thirst, this craving for happiness, for fulfillment, for their divine feminine. But clearly here, um, Spirit is saying that this particular group of masculines, their barrier right now are third parties, all right? So even though this is not meant to be one of those types of readings, it is showing up here. And I mean, it makes a lot of sense because regardless of what your situation is, whether there is another partner, um, that the masculine has or that you have, you know, there are still other people in our lives that can affect this connection. So at the moment, their biggest barrier currently is family. All right, so this could be parents, this could be siblings, this could be extended family, this could be anything. So we're gonna get into the tarot and see what, what this is about. I feel like this is one of their main challenges to overcome, to, to realize that, you know, they, Regardless of what their family um, standards are or what their family wants or what their family would think or how they feel towards their family in terms of this, it's like realizing, yeah, but what is it that truly makes me happy? So let's, let's get into the details here. They're craving happiness and fulfillment. Because for a while they were, you know, just kind of living in autopilot, not really fully understanding whether they were happy or not. Just kind of going along with things. So now they're having that craving for it. Let's, let's see what is going on just with them in their lives generally here. All 
All right, we have the Three of Wands, the Nine of um, Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so overall, there's... Um, there's an attachment here. There's an attachment to a family, um, family members, or just overall. I mean, this could even be talking about family traditions or um, family conditioning, whatever. There is still a bit of an attachment here. And the masculine is, um, what their challenge is, is feeling like they need to give to that, almost feeling like they need to either continue on some kind of a family tradition. So maybe their divine feminine is not does not fall within that range of their of their tradition or um, something along those lines or being with their feminine would mean that you know the, the family would either be upset or the way that they are viewed by the family would not be um, favorable as they see it so yeah they're trying to find that balance of okay you know how can I not participate in this so that I can have my happiness like so there's something about family and their happiness where there's a clash let's see let's get um, some cards to see their energy towards their feminine And we are going to clarify some of these. All right, the High Priestess in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Tower in reverse. <laughs> this tower just keeps showing up reading after reading. Um, okay, so the, the big tower that I've been talking about recently has not hit yet. That's why it's showing up now here in reverse in this way. Um, it is building up, though, all right, with the Eight of Coins um, or Pentacles being right before that. They're holding back. They're trying to avoid this tower, but it's it's definitely coming. They're feeling like they're having a hard time holding back from from their feminine. It's like there's some there's something here that they're not telling you regardless of whether you are in contact or not. But they're very very focused on this and they're very focused on trying to avoid this tower, but I feel like they're not going to be able to they're not going to be able to, to avoid it. It's They see it. It's like they're looking at it. They know it's coming. And there's this, there's this sense of dread that I'm getting with this. They know they're not going to be able to avoid it. Let me get one more row here. The Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Swords. So it does feel like we're getting quite a bit of pentacles. Um, yeah, so I do feel like what they're focused on here is what they're realizing is that it's not it's not only their um, it's not like it's physical happiness versus emotional, spiritual happiness. It's not like it's one or the other. They're realizing that these two things are actually interrelated. So their, their happiness, what it is that they want, whatever it is that would fulfill them emotionally is also going to fulfill them in the physical as well. And this is why it's like, it's one and the same. Whatever it is that's gonna make you happy, it's going to be both on an emotional and on a physical. It's not like they have to choose between, okay, do I want to feel emotionally happy or just be happy, you know, in the physical world? No, they're realizing that these two things, they merge, they are one and the same. And I feel like this is something that is new for them in terms of um, this realization. It's not, it's not something that they had thought of in the past because it didn't make sense to them rationally, from a rational perspective, but they're thinking more um, from a feminine energy, which is more intuitive and, and more able to understand this. Okay, so down here for their, um, for, it's still the, their energy towards their feminine. They're feeling like, yeah, it is, it's difficult. They don't know how they can, um, with whatever else it is that they have going on, especially in terms of family, because that's just what we got here that's um, occupying their minds at the moment. They don't know how they can actually have both of these things. There's a clash there. And yes, here is where they might have to make a decision. Here it is that they have to choose between one or the other, right? They don't need to choose between emotional and physical happiness because it's one and the same, but they do need to choose between their family standards or what they, how, whatever that means, okay, for each of you, 
and their own happiness, which would be being with their divine feminine. They're seeing it as, you know, whatever it is that they've been trying to do up until this point, it hasn't been working out. It's like they've been waiting and waiting and waiting to just have this happiness in their lives without their feminine, thinking that they can do it without their feminine. But they're feeling like, yeah, that's not possible. Eight of Swords. That's not possible. They're trapped in this. Like, they're always going to be trying to find that happiness. And it's just never coming. 100% because they're not they're not in that alignment where they can be at that point where they can actually come into union with you and because it's and it's not even um it's not that they can't be happy without their feminine no that's not that's not what I'm saying here at all we can all be happy and we can all be fulfilled within ourselves without being in union with our divine counterpart, okay? Let me just make that clear. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying though is, is that they're not in alignment with their own self because they're giving too much emphasis on third parties and on what other people would expect of them and on how they feel about themselves in regards to how these other people view them, feeling like they need to live up to some standard or feeling like, they need to be a certain way and that in order to be that way that excludes the feminine so it's that that is keeping them unhappy because they're not in alignment with themselves and once they are in that alignment well then there won't be that barrier and union is possible so the union is more like a side effect it's more of like you know something that would just automatically happen after they get into this alignment but it's that alignment within their own selves and, and being aligned with their own true wishes and their own desires that is what is keeping them in this unhappy state not just the fact that they're not with their with their feminine all right um and of course that doesn't mean that they're not craving you and that they're not wishing for you i'm seeing it very very clearly here that they actually are okay so let's um i do want to clarify a few of these all right let's see that top row so three of wands please and we have the three of pentacles yeah it's it's kind of like they're just waiting to see if things can work out with the people that are surrounding them again this is coming in as family again it could be extended family okay just take that as it resonates um, there, it's like there's been this waiting to see if, you know, maybe everything can just work out together and maybe I can fit, I can have both and I can have the best of both worlds and, you know, that everybody will agree and, you know, and that it's all going to be fine. And it's like, yeah, that's the attachment here. No, um, this is the lesson that they're learning is that they need to go after what it is that they want, align with their own selves, regardless of what other people are going to think, regardless of whether other people are going to agree or give their consent or anything along those lines. So let's see the nine of pentacles in reverse. And we have the moon. There's a fear of, of detaching from this. From whatever that is um, and it could be because they're, they've just been so used to it this is part of their identity this is part of you know what they know and what they've been accustomed to so there's a fear here of the unknown and of what it would be like if, if they just completely detach from these expectations or from you know whatever it is even it might not even be their family's expectations it might be their own, something from within them towards family something um that they feel towards their family and that they on their you know just on their own like this could be self-imposed what what they feel like they should be doing and what how they feel like they should be living their lives but according to other people so for some of them, it's not like it's being imposed by other people. It's self-imposed because that's just what they think would be expected of them. Or that's what they think is the right thing to do. Um, so yeah, there's a fear here. Um, possibly also a fear of there being that 
non-consensual energy. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. Yeah, so giving to this, giving energy to whatever that situation is and trying to find that that balance, like trying to have both their happiness and that consent, it's keeping them unhappy. Plain and simple, it's the same freaking message coming through. That's keeping them unhappy. And this is something that they are very aware of right now. I feel like this may even have to do with the... Um, with the, with the eclipses that we're having, because we've entered the eclipse season now, and we had a new moon in Scorpio. So, yeah. Lots of things coming to the forefront right now. Let's see the second row. The Six of Pentacles again, the Hierophant in reverse, and the, what is this, the Chariot in reverse. <laughs> All right. So they're keeping quiet, like I said, it's like they're holding back here um, from you because, again, because they're giving energy to this other situation here, whatever that is, and really trying to see how they can actually find a balance and, and have both. It's the same message. And it's not working. That's the thing. It's not working. Um, we have the higher frame clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, like what they've been focused on it's not like it's just even that conditioning and actually what i'm getting here is that they're beginning to focus more and more on um bringing down though that conditioning bringing down those standards of the family like they're beginning to see how whatever whatever this is whatever these relationships and connections are what a barrier they are to them having their true connection here to having a true foundation, to having something that is a higher level spiritually. Um, they're beginning to see this more and more, that this, whatever this is to them, it's not something that has to be followed. This is breaking traditions here with the Hierophant in reverse, breaking social conditioning, you know, working on not having to follow these rules, quote unquote rules, right? So yeah, this, this tower is coming. This tower is coming. It's not here yet. It's still, it's still coming. Um, and they're, again, they're trying to avoid it. They see it. They see it coming, but they're trying to go a little bit the other way. But like I said, like, it's like right there. It's like one of those things, you know how like when you're, Oh God, this is like, I don't know why I'm getting this example, but this is the example that just popped into my head. Um, it's like right before getting into a car accident where you see it coming, you try to avoid it, but there is no avoiding it. Like you just know that you're going to hit that car or, you know, that, um, I don't know, pole or whatever. And there's just no avoiding it. You try, but it's just inevitable. That's, that's their energy here. And it does have to do with their feminine. Knowing that they are going to really freak out. It's kind of like reality slapping them in the face. Like really hitting them. And it's coming. And they're seeing it coming. They're watching it. Okay. Um, it's, it's, it's almost like... Okay. So here's what I'm getting now. Is that they're like focused on really breaking down those traditions in their mind and that conditioning and those beliefs that they've been holding on to so that when this does hit them when the tower does hit them so that it won't be as hard almost like they're trying to make it in time because they know that if they're the longer that they're holding on to this that tower is coming and it's going to hit them harder if they're still holding on to this so that could translate into many different things for each of you. Like it could be even something very specific. Like maybe they know that you're like about to move on, and, you know, in some way or that they're like really about to lose you or, you know, maybe you're moving or maybe, you know, they're required to move um, and they know it's coming. So they're trying to release that before that happens so that it doesn't happen <laughs> because that would create this huge tower. That's just an example. It could be anything. 
I'm just trying to say that it could be some very specific events that are happening um, for some of you. And then for others of you, of course, it's more energetic. So it really depends. All right, uh, bottom row. Yeah, let's see the bottom row. Two of Pentacles, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. Again, yeah, they're trying to really... They, they've tried. Again, this has to do with their foundation and what it is that they feel, you know... Um, could be stable here. They're trying to find that stability. They're feeling they're feeling extremely unstable right now, especially emotionally. Extremely unstable because they're trying to find that balance of okay, you know, like can I manage without my feminine? And the answer is no. They're getting that answer. Like they're getting it right now. Like the answer is no. Seven of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Everything that they have tried, all the effort that they have put in, it has brought them no results, <clears throat> basically. Trying to find that happiness without you or trying to have that consent, you know, or, you know, trying to work around the whole, um, I don't know, belief system here in terms of family or in terms of society even, that has not brought about any results whatsoever. So there, it's like there's no point in even trying that anymore. That's what they're realizing here. Let me see this Eight of Swords. The world. <laughs> okay, good, good. At least we have a very positive card here closing um, to clarify the eight of swords which is which is negative right um knowing that they're trapped here right knowing that well they are stuck with their feminine but this is also about resolving this fear resolving the fears that they have and resolving this issue of i'm just stuck because this is a dead end because well there is no consensus i can't have both of these things i can't hold on to my beliefs conditioning others expectations and then or it may be even family like maybe they even need to release family um or certain members of their family or something some aspect of their family maybe they need to release that like completely so they're realizing that they can't have that and also their feminine like something here needs to go something needs to be compromised in order for them to come into full alignment with themselves and once they do they'll realize that really they didn't compromise anything like they have what is meant for them like being in true alignment with your own self you know that's all you really need and everything else was just there you know as a lesson or as an experience for this so this is really good because they, this is them completing that chapter of the Eight of Swords, which I'm very happy to see because, like I said, that Eight of Swords, it's like it, it kept coming up. It kept coming up in reverse, but now it's coming up with the um, World card, which is very, very positive. So <clears throat> let's see what's going on with the Feminines, and then we'll see what is coming up in the next couple of weeks for the Masculines. And maybe for the feminines. For the feminines, I don't really look so much into the future energies because I feel like what the messages that we get, they're also oftentimes guidance, which can help you to, to kind of like, you know, um, have some control over what is coming up for you because we are in control of what comes up for us. All right, so let's see, feminines. Okay, Angel of Strength and Healer of the Ages. Yeah, you're you're learning about strength, and I feel like you have been very strong. Um, but it, this could even be that you, during this time, you have been... I want to say tested, but I really don't like using that word. I've said this before. Because it's not really a test. It's not like a test that you need to pass or fail. It's more of so that you can see for yourself. So events have been happening to show you where you are at on your own healing how much have you healed and i feel like for the most part you know you've been seeing a difference here you feel stronger like events are happening where you feel like you know they're not getting the better of you or you're not reverting to old patterns you're not reacting in the same ways as before and i feel like i've been saying this for like at least a month now it's been coming up but yeah i mean very clear right angel of strength and healing basically 
let's see what else. All right, we have will and change. Yeah, wow. Wow, this is very powerful for the for the feminines here. You have changed, and I feel like you can feel this change. You feel this shift within you. Um, like, even if things are repeating themselves, they're different. Your will is different. You have a different willpower right now. You're not just giving in to negative energies. You're not giving in to weakness of any sort. Not that there's anything bad with feeling weak or being weak at certain times. No, that's a part of it. Actually, strength is portrayed when we do feel weak, but our willpower, you know, um, stands stronger. And that's what's been happening with the, with the feminines. You're getting stronger and stronger and your will for what it is that you deserve, for what it is that um, you want, that has changed. And I feel like you're still going through this change. You're still going through this change and it's, it's very, very positive for you because you will st begin to feel even stronger than what you're already, than what you're already feeling. Just to get through this, you know, and just focusing, focusing on your own self. And this is why you've had, you know, such a difficult journey here up until this point. Because that is what has made you stronger. That is what has also made you understand what it is that you want, what it is that you deserve. It's taught you a lot about your own um, integrity as well. So let me get just some final ones from this deck. All right, we have material world deception and return. Oh, okay. So this is what you might have been up against um, during this time. This doesn't necessarily mean that it is coming from your masculine, all right, this deception. It could be for even from other people in, in your life where there is some kind of a deception happening in your material world. This is why I'm not so much getting that it's your masculine, but of course, for some of you, this definitely could be, you know, feeling like, um, there's some kind of pattern like about to repeat itself, like it's coming back. But like I said, you know, you're stronger now, so you're not allowing that to happen. Whether it is your masculine or whether it is other people in your lives or whether it is your own self, like, you know, you deceiving yourself, you deceiving your, your integrity or what you would truly want. Either, you know, in order to serve others or um, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. But it's like, Something is something has reappeared in your life that is deceptive. Or if this hasn't happened yet, it could be coming up for you in your material world. Like it's going to be something very concrete. It's for some of you, I mean it could be energetic, but I'm getting here mostly that it's something concrete, like in the physical. It could even be a desire, it could be a lust, it could be um I don't know. <laughs> it could be literally anything. Um, but you're not allowing that to take you down or to take you a step back. So do keep that in mind though, um, for those of you that, you know, maybe this hasn't really appeared just yet, that it might be. And yeah, you know, just stick to your, to your willpower, stick to what you know, and to, you know, whatever positive changes you, you have made. Okay, let me, I'm just going to get a couple of tarot cards and then we'll move on to what is coming up. All right, Page of Swords, the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay, interesting. Um, You're either, you've either found out something or you're finding out something concerning a love offer. Um, and I'm not sure if this is concerning your masculine or somebody else. 
or even about your masculine and somebody else. But there's something along those lines. Um, whatever that is, I don't see it moving forward really. Let me clarify these. So let's see this page of sorts. The fool in reverse. Yeah, whatever this is, it's not it's not really moving forward. I don't know what that is. Um Again, it might be in terms of you or it might be in terms of your masculine. Let me just get the rest of them. Let's see the Knight of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles. All right, and let me see the Six of Swords. This could be what it is that has come back or what is coming back. The High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like there's a situation that is coming back into your lives. Um, this might be just very specific, just for a very, very specific group of you. Um, there's either something here that you're finding out, but whatever it is, it's not what it appears. It's, it's deceptive. Like something that you're finding out is just not really what it seems to be. Um, especially in terms of of love or some kind of a connection for so that of course it could be about your masculine that you're finding out something about them possibly you know maybe with another partner or maybe you're finding out that they're not that they're not coming towards you maybe you've heard some news that makes you feel like oh you know okay like there's it's like completely the opposite of them ever coming towards me that's Something about it is just not true. Something about that news is, is not is not true. So for others of you, um, and I, <laughs> the high priest is here, I, you know this. It's like you know this deep down. So this is just more of like a confirmation. But this is something that you do know and you just might not be really trusting it. Um, and then for others of you, this could be somebody else that is coming into your life or coming back into your life. Doesn't have to be a love partner. It could be it could be just about anything. But somebody coming in in like a sweet way or in a way where it seems um, positive. It's like it's not. It's not. Whatever it is, it's just not going. It's not really moving forward. And this is something again that you know. And whatever this is, uh, for those of you that this this second message resonates for um it could be coming back because it's something that hasn't been healed yet and that you never really like fully either recovered from or you never fully like um found a sense of peace and again it's like you know that and so this could be why it's coming back up whatever that is so just take that at however it might resonate for you all right so let's see what is coming up in the next week or so for the masculines Hanged man in reverse, the world, and the wheel of fortune in reverse. Ooh, all right, interesting. They're they're tired of where they are. They don't want to be standing standing in the same position, basically. They're closing out this chapter of things not changing and of just going around in circles. So again, this is going to play out in different ways for each of you, but um, they're definitely seeing things from a different perspective and not wanting to just be the observer of this situation and of how it's and of how it's playing out. It's wanting to end that. It's <laughs> it's like really th this is the second time they're getting the world card, and the first time it was attached to that eight of swords. So there's a major cycle here that they are ending, and I feel like once they end that cycle, like once that is like concluded that is when the tower is going to hit so something here is changing and it's not going to feel very positive actually like once they do this it's not going to feel very good um but that's a part of the process here i do want to pull a clarifier i was trying to avoid it but <laughs> i really want to pull a clarifier here Seven of Wands. 
Yeah, they're going to have to put up a fight. They're going to have to put up a fight. This is all about them having some resistance to that chapter that they're closing out. So they're closing something out. They're closing out being that hanged man. All right, basically just kind of standing there and going with the flow and just not really doing anything, the stagnation. They're closing that out. They're beginning to do something here and they're going to have a lot of resistance that they're going to be met by um, and getting by other people. Look at all of these people there. So by external forces. And I do see them putting up a fight though. Like they are putting up that fight. It's just not going to be easy. And I feel like that's also going to be related to that tower that I've been talking about that is coming up. All right. So let's get some final oracle messages to close this out. By the book, I mean, wow, there's that. Okay, two messages here. Number one, yes, it's closing out that cycle of doing things by the book, feeling like they need to follow, you know, certain rules or certain, you know, um, traditions, beliefs, whatever. That's the first message. Second message, they are doing what they need to be doing right now. They are um, in that divine alignment and actually going by the divine's book and breaking away from that 3D book of rules or whatever that is. So yeah, I feel like, let me get, I'm just gonna get one more, just anything that wants to come through, especially for, for the feminines. All right, and we got two. We have ascending the mountain, keep going forward. Yes, that's exactly what you're doing. This is the encouragement from spirit to just keep going forward. You're doing a good job. Surrendering to the journey, release control. And that's what you're doing. That's how you are ascending the, the mountain by surrendering to the journey and releasing that control. All right, guys, those were the messages just for today please give me a thumbs up if you like this reading definitely leave me a comment if you have something you want to add or say and i will talk to you guys very soon much love